Hello and welcome to the next episode of the Snatcher. For fun, I got thrown out about Evan last time. But now we're back. Um, you just have to go around a bit to be let back in. Okay, so let's go back inside. Wait a moment, investigator. I need to know it's a bother. But we'll need to have you wear a mask. Uh, possessions. Use. Mask. Alright, let's try on the mummy mask. Oh, that looks great on you, Investigator. Right, now we can go inside. Investigator, please try to keep your identity under wraps, okay? Table for one, please. Let me... Okay, we're it back in. Right, we're inside out of heaven. We're gonna call the dancer, because uh, she's the one we have to actually talk to properly. Uh... I'll call Isabella. Hey, Isabella, over here. And everyone gives you the evil eye. Oh, you two again. What can I do for you? A mummy and a robot? <laughs> um, finish questioning. Hi, Isabella. Sorry, I didn't really have anything to say. How rude. Uh, uh, that was bad. Uh, all right. <laughs> I love giving them the evils. Oh, you two again. Okay, she said the same thing. Okay, okay. Ask. Can I look at that photo again? Possessions. Yeah, I have to show the photo again, so... Take a careful look, okay? Hmm. Oh, that's right. This was the guy who got sick after eating buffalo. I remember him. Ooh, that's a clue! Now let's ask... About well, it was just the other day. It wasn't Masquerade Hour, so I remember his face pretty clearly. He seemed to be waiting around for one of our regular customers. Irregular. He was going out of his way to eat buffalo. Then he spat up blood. I was really grossed out. You say he was waiting for someone. Well, I suppose it was more like he was following him. He left as soon as the other guy did. About that man. Uh, would you mind telling me a little about him? I don't know his name, but he was here all the time, especially when we weren't running Masquerade Hour. Outside of Masquerade Hour, so that means you've seen his face then. Do you remember it? I think so. Alright, Meryl, let's have her come down to headquarters with us. We need to use Jordan and put together a montage. We can't take her to headquarters. Why not? Well, it's like the manager said, she's a star actress. If the media were to find out about this, we'll never get any cooperation ever again. What are you mumbling about? Oh, this is really a delicate issue. Although inconvenient, we should take a description and then go back to headquarters to build them montage on our own. Uh, description. Could you try remember his uh, distinguishing characteristics? Gillian, keep the description in mind. Afterwards, we can use it to put together a... Okay. A facial shape. What was the... I'm going to write this down so I can remember what we did. Where's my notes at? Oh, it's so warm. There we go. Okay, I've, I've got... He had a kind of bony look. Bony look. Uh, type of eyes. What about his eyes? Okay, piercing. He had the piercing gear. Gears that was rather threatening. Nose. What kind of nose did he have? 
it was point a like like mine. Okay, P O N I T Y. Oh, uh, point in nose. Okay, we're getting somewhere. Mouth. How about his mouth? He had thin lips, I think. Thin lips. Uh, hair. How was he wearing his hair? It was uh, naturally flowing towards the back of his head. Natural flow back of head. And he had a big widow's peak with a WP. Okay. And about his age. How old would you say he was? He looked like he was in his 30s. So 30s. Okay. Uh, that's. Thank you very much. You've been quite helpful. I hope you can use this information. Uh, me too. Uh, how about... Yes. Isabella, would you mind giving me your phone number? I'm afraid I can't tell you. Oh. Uh, future projects. And I've got a virtual reality job coming up too. Ah, uh, sweet. Do something. Ask for an autograph. I think that's enough. That was a special exception, you know. Oh, come on. Men are never satisfied. They always want more. Uh, ask her. Come on, baby, follow me. Oh, you really are simple. That was just an example. So a kiss just isn't a good enough for you, eh? Okay, okay. Thanks, I think what you've told us may help a bit. Okay, see you. We should use this information to build a montage of the suspect and then run it through Georgia to see if there's any matches. You mean like building a composite photograph? It would be nice if Isabella would come back to headquarters with us. Well, I guess we'll just have to have her take a look at it later. Okay, let's exit. Thank you very much. Let's see, uh, that will be 2,000 credits. 2,000, what a deal. Here you go, 2,000. Okay, that's 2,000, exactly, thank you. We didn't either order all. This is our heaven, going home, yes. Please come again. I'm sure we will. Gillian, take your mask off, you'll be laughed at if you wear this. Oh yeah, oh good point, there we go, it's off. <laughs> Gillian Seed, the ladies man. We've boarded the turbo cycle, where would you like to go? Uh, we'll go back to Junkers HQ and uh, we'll get that composite made. Hopefully this can uh, help us with the investigation with the Snap Snatcher. All that said is uh, we've reached this destination. Yes, we know it's the reception area again. Welcome back, Gillian. How's your investigators? Learn anything new? Alright, uh, can't ask her anything. Um, computer room, maybe. This is a computer room. Uh, use Jordan. I am Jordan, Junker Headquarters host, AI, Cuba system. Please insert your ID card, use card. There she goes. And that's saying just welcome. Uh, create a montage. Okay, alright. First, she'll say. So, born up the sheet. Which one? Okay. I'd say. Born eh? Uh, maybe number five. Facial shape five. Eyes. What was it that Isabella said? Hmm. A piercing gaze. Which one would that be? Maybe number three? Nose? A pointy nose. 
And I think that's uh, mm, out of all of them, number one looks the most pointy. Mouth. Uh, let's see, thin lips. Uh, let's see, number two. Hairstyle. He had the widow's peak. Uh, so that'd be numbers two again, I believe. What was it naturally for? I think that's what she said. Uh, let's try hair type two. Searching. The Alpha Network will be searched for possible matches. No matches located. Maybe the montage is all wrong. Let's carefully think about the description we got. Okay. Maybe six. Widow's Peak. Um, hmm. I think I've done this right. Okay, I've, I've obviously got this wrong somewhere. Mm -hmm. Maybe it's number four. Okay, uh, this can be a little bit tricky. I'm sh Okay, maybe I've selected some of these ones. I'm just going to look this up because I'm getting really confused. I thought I picked the right ones. Okay, let's start at the facial shape. Eyes number six. I don't call that a piercing gaze. Nose. Alright, we had the right nose, so it was number one for the nose. Now 
mouth. Apparently the mouth was... Number three. And the hairstyle... Two. Uh, so I had the air right originally. So. Right. Let's see if this one works. Ugh. Possible match located. Alright, we did it. Good work, Gillian. Two possible matches for montage photograph located. Possibility 1, probability of match 70%. Ivan Rodriguez, air surfer, amateur, 27 year old, address 522 South Itielado, SM District, caution, non municipal data administration district. Uh, he's got a 65 this event, let's see. Taxi driver, no company affiliate, 29 year old. Hmm. Right. Gillian, the montage has been printed. Now we're in business. It's simple two dimensional rendering of Jordan's three dimensional data, but it should prove as useful anyway. Well, we've got their addresses. Shall we pay these gentlemen a visit? One of these men is no doubt the snatcher who killed Jean. We've almost got him now. Let's go investigate the suspect. Okay. Uh, let's move. See if the engineer's done all with that chip. Hey, Gillian, how's it going these days? Uh, I haven't done all with the chip yet. Uh, go to the front. Hey, Gillian, how's the investigation? Ah, she says that every time. Um, do some of it. Michael, I promise you I'll finish what Gibson started. Thanks, Gillian, but don't push yourself too hard. Okay, let's move. And the turbo cycle. See you later, Gillian. Nice. Right, so we've got two suspects. There's got a 5%. One of them's a snatcher. Oh, we've got more options. Uh, we've got Ivan's first, so let's go to Ivan first. Ivan Rodriguez's apartment. Okay. Hopefully we're finally going to find this first snatcher. Uh, we've arrived. Exit the turbo cycle. Let's do a safe state. This is Ivan Rodriguez's neighborhood. Looks a little rough. According to the data in Jordan, this should be his neighborhood. Ugh, this place is a real slum. District data retrieval networks hasn't been installed in this area. As such, there is virtually no data on this area in the Alpha 1 network. This region is almost completely isolated. Sounds like a place for a snatch tide. Let's have a look around the buildings. I wonder if anybody's actually living in this area. Uh, the area. This place is utterly filthy. There are a few freemen here. Freemen? What are they? Anyway, their actual lifestyle is not unlike that of uh, the homeless. See, they're gathered around the fire. How are they different from the homeless? Unlike the less fortunate, these people have chosen to live like this, often leaving good jobs to do so. It appears to be a form of rebellion towards over-control of information by the central authorities. They are one of Neo Kobe's biggest problem. Maybe they know something. Why don't we ask them? Uh... So that's bad the way. Hey, you guys. What? I need to talk to you. Yeah. How long have you been living around here? I used to be a part of the development team that put together the Alpha Network. So, you are a programmer, huh? What happened? One day I took a peek at some secret data in Alpha 1. That's impossible security on the system is. 
it was possible for me. Anyhow, I saw enough garbage and scum on the people and this society in this file to last me a lifetime. People there can stink, sink pretty low, you know. You may be right. Why don't you become free to join us here? You'll ever get sick of it all, just drop by. I've got to get my pass back before I can become free. Alpha One has data on the development team in there. Take a look at it when you get a chance. Okay. Ask about Ivan. Uh, could you tell me anything you know about a man named Ivan Rodriguez? Was there anybody named that around here? You lied to me and you live to regret it. Now, now, calm yourself. I'm trying to remember. Ask about. Who's that? Uh, have you heard anything about Snatchers in this area? Snatchers, don't be stupid. Even if there was any around here, you'd think they'd come after us. You'll never know, you'll never know. Okay. Uh, possession. Let's show them. Uh, let's show them the montage for Do you know this man? Hmm. That... That's that idiot I even asked on the... Do know him, yeah. That's the fool himself. Uh, let's see if they've seen Gibson. Who's that? No, they don't know. Search for Ivan. Where would we even begin to look for him around here? Be careful, how does the smoke is also being emitted by the fire? That's because they probably burn anything they find around here. These abandoned cars are probably next. Okay, let's move. Where does Ivan live? He's in apartment 301 of this building. That's the kid with that weird board thing, right? You mean the guy who's into sky, don't you? Ah yeah, he's always surfing. Oh, that's the guy, huh? I'm not sure I understand what you're talking about. Okay, we've... Them dudes have... Alright, let's head for apartment 301. Third floor, eh? Well, he won't be able to escape out the window. Thanks to those dudes that helped me out. Uh, let's do a save. We're at the door to apartment 301. Uh, let's use Metal Gear. We're gonna save. Alright, save. Let's make a hard save. Continue game. Alright. Uh, let's have a look. Play. It says apartment 301. Ivan Rodriguez. So definitely the right apartment. The door. It's an old style door with a small people view installed. The area. There is an electric meter in it appears to be for this apartment. Yeah. A meter. Wait a minute, electricity is being used. Ooh. That's triggered off the uh, I read motion, somebody's in that apartment. Let's investigate the door. The door is locked. Gillian, why don't we try knocking? Okay, lock. I'll knock on the door. There's no answer. That's funny. I'll knock on the door again. Ah. We got eyes. Who's there? Let's talk. Ivan Rodriguez, I'm a junker. Open up. I've got a few questions to ask you. What do you want? First, you open this door. Alright, alright, just relax. Are you prepared, Gillian? It isn't insectors you're up against this time. Yeah, I know, and I don't want any more of those nano machines injections either. Sorry it took so long. Gillian, watch out! Ah! Okay, I don't know what happened there. My uh, in interface didn't pop up. Did I kill him? He has only lost consciousness. Excellent shot, Gillian, hitting him in the hand like that. 
That's not exactly how I planned it. Stop that, it's alright. Somebody save me. Hey, what, what did you come out shooting for? I got hit four times back there, you know. I don't know what you're talking about, man. Without a scanning warrant, I cannot perform full ounces. But visual inspection knows cancerous skin lesions despite his deep tan. I guess he's not a snatcher. There's a great deal of waste packages in the in <coughs> packed into the old model electric suction type cleaning device. Apparently, he isn't too concerned about cleanliness. Gun. It's the Saturday night RG11. This is a toy gun that has been modified to fire real shells. A very low grade weapon. That was a stroke of good luck, wasn't it, Gillian? I took four hits, but with a gun like this, eh. Alright, so you. Okay. Interrogate. You're a snatcher, aren't you? I don't know what you're talking about, man. He seems to behave strangely. Don't let your guard down. Ah, stop it. Stop it, man. Hey, don't shoot, okay? Stop that, alright. Somebody save me. Hey. Come on, reveal yourself, Snatcher. You got the wrong guy, I swear. Alright, uh, right, let's have a look. Around the room. This room is really dark. I don't see anything special. Though. The room is quite filthy. Wait, there are some trophies over here. Trophies? It appears to be a real trophy. Aged organic materials and typical secretary organisms, that's all I read. There's no evidence in his garbage that he's a snatcher. It's just uh, plated, so there's no real gold in it. It says runner up, 12th Neo Corp Air Surfing Championship. I get it, he's an earth surfer. It's a cheap ray gun purchase on the black market. Okay. Alright buddy, time to wake up. Whoa man, don't shoot, don't shoot! Gillian, while your earlier shot is justifiable as self-defense, killing this suspect would violate Section 5, Article 2 of the Junker Bylaws. You must first have concrete evidence that he is a snatcher. Damn! We should search his bathroom. We may find sunscreen there. Good point. Okay, let's move into the bathroom. This is Ivan's bathroom. Let's have a look around the room. My goodness, this place is just as disgusting as the living room. And airboard is leaning against the wall. Bathtub. The tub is filled with dirty water. Ugh. Clean your room, man. Shelf. Wait, there's a bottle here. Maybe it's sunscreen. There's no label. The bottle differs significantly from the one at Jean's house. Hey, let's have a look at his airboard. It's an airboard. Its design reflects the latest aeronautic technologies. That sounds like an interesting spot. Metal, analyze the contents of this for me, will ya? It's not sunscreen, it's suntan oil. It shows no sign of having been used recently. Sunscreen and suntan oil are like day and night. What's that horrible smell? Based on your reactions, I would say that there is no snow nine here either. What's so funny? Just check it out for me. Hmm. 
there's a crack on the bottom of the board. Something seems to be jutting out. It's a plastic bag. Okay. I detect numerous organic residue and organisms in the water. Residue here. There is no evidence that he is a snatcher here. Can I look at the plastic bag please? Ah, there's some kind of powder. I don't think he's a drug addict. This, these are illegal drugs. Yeah, drug addict, not a snatcher, damn. And not only that, it looks like liquid sky. That's powerful stimulant. That is killing a lot of its addicts. So that about explains everything, doesn't it? Yes. It appears that Ivan was simply trying to conceal the fact that he is a drug user. An air surfer, huh? Plenty of suntan oil. Out there soaking up lots of ultraviolet rays. And tanned quite brown by those rays as well. But he doesn't have so much as a pimple. Not what I'd call your typical artificial skin user. Ivan is apparently not a snatcher. All right, buddy, get up. Hey! I only do Liquid Sky, dude! Just once in a while! I swear! I don't touch anything else! Don't hurt me, man! Come on! Call me an ambulance, will ya? I'm no cop, I'm a junker. I couldn't care less if you're a buyer, a pusher, or what. What I want to know is, if you're a snatcher or human. Gillian, Ivan's skin is healthy. There is no way he could be a snatcher and tan like that without developing melanoma. Oh, getting a fault. HQ has just transmitted us a scanning warrant. Therefore, under the provisions of Section 18 of the Civil Code, Snatchers and the Protection of Citizens' Rights, I will hereby commence a full bioscan of Ivan. Analysis complete. Ivan Rodriguez is a completely normal Homo sapien. Oh, I keep telling you, dude! I ain't no snatcher or whatever. Now, would you please get me a doctor? Why don't you just put some of your drugs on it? <laughs> hey, I wasn't doing anything wrong, man. The friendly boys from Narcotics will be here any time now. Save your breath for them. Come on, dude. I ain't done nothing. I'm just in the air surfing. I just wanted to win the competition, man. I needed some money for that, okay? Hey, it's just drugs, man! Yeah. And that's a well, dead end. Ivan Rodriguez sure wasn't our man. Too bad for him that he happened to look like the snatcher we're after. That leaves Freddy Nielsen. And I'm going to call it an episode there. Thank you for watching. So we uh, had an interesting encounter with a drug addict. Not a snatcher, but maybe next time. Uh, thank you for watching and have a good day.